I'm Thad Barnett. And I'm Adam Mazzella, and we're going to teach you everything you need to know about metal roofing. Welcome to Metal Roofing 101. Today's episode, what is a metal roof? I'm here at Sheffield Metals in Northeast Ohio with Adam Mazzella. Today we'll focus on, you know, your typical types of metal roof. You know, painted steel, painted aluminum metal roofs that we predominantly deal with in the, in the industry today. What makes a metal roof different from another type of roofing system like shingles or tile or something like that? Okay. Well, a shingle system is typically an asphalt-based system. Other systems can be made out of plastics or rubbers or things like that. A metal roof is just that. It's made out of a variety of different metals generally coming from the earth. You've got steel, which comes out as ore. You've got aluminum. You've got copper, zinc, stainless steel, things like that. And it's just your typical roof covering. And from there, it's a pretty wide range. You can have face fasten systems. You've got glue down metal roof systems. And the typical system that we deal with is a standing seam metal roof system, typically a concealed fastener system. What about longevity? How long do metal roofing last? Your typical metal roof uh, can range from a variety of years, 20 to 30 years, all the way up to hundreds of years. Um, there's copper and zinc roofs in Europe, for instance, that have been around for 200, 300 plus years. Steel is still relatively young compared to those types of roof systems. So a galvalume system, for instance, uh, the MCA or Metal Construction Association has studies out that a galvalume roof will list, last in excess of 60 years. Now, it's going to vary by environment, but um, as of right now, there's studies today that they're lasting up to 60 years. How about durability? How durable are metal roofing or is metal roofing systems compared to other types of roofing systems? Okay. Well, metal roof is considered very durable um, when compared to other roofing systems. So you can get an engineered metal roofing system that can last through really high velocity winds, you know, in excess of 150 miles per hour. And you go down to the islands, you go down to South Florida, the Gulf Coast, things like that after a storm you see a lot of the roofs that held up were standing seam metal roofs that's not to say that one's bad one's good um, there's certainly an economical factor that you have to think about when in there but you know metal roofing systems are predominantly hail rated uh, we've got hail ratings on all of our metal roof systems as well as all of our engineered metal roofing systems can sustain high winds and are all tested in excess of ul90 so adam tell me about cost of a metal roof what is that like well, the cost is going to range as well. You know, you have your kind of low end, your, your face fastened egg panel type system, 26, 29 gauge. Those are going to be the, the most inexpensive systems. Um, where it gets more complex and more complicated is kind of where it scales up from there. If you're talking a concealed fastener system, a, you know, fastener flange system, for instance, that's going to be on the lower end. Next step up would be your typical snap lock system. Then the next step up would be a mechanical lock system. Um, that really varies mostly because of labor. Now, there's other things that are going to affect the cost of a roof. That would be the complexity or geometry that's involved in, in installing. It costs much, much more right now than a, your typical shingle roof. So let's say you're looking at a standing seam roof for your house. Um, you got a bid on a shingle roof and then you get a bid on a standing seam roof. And you look at it and you're saying, well, you know, my shingle roof is you know, a third of the cost of the metal roof or 40% of the cost of the metal roof, which is pretty typical, pretty standard stuff that we see, right. our end users see. Um, but you look at it, how long is your shingle roof gonna last? Uh, depending on climate, could be 10 years, could be 20 years, not much longer than that. Um, where a standing seam roof, you know, like I said, they're, they're lasting upwards of 40, 60 plus years. So um, if you look at the useful life cycle, metal actually, especially in today's dollars and you factor in inflation, um, a metal roof actually ends up being more cost effective, but it's also a, a larger investment up front. How about uh, warranties when it comes to you know, commercial or residential buildings? You can put metal roofs on both types. So what are the warranties like? Well, we offer several levels of warranties. You've got your finish warranties and your substrate warranties, as well as our manufacturer warranties. So I'll touch base on the substrate warranties. That's the metal, and that's the metal only. So um, that can be a bare metal or it can be a painted metal. So we look at it like the metal is supposed to last 25, 25 and a half years if it's a galvalum substrate. Our aluminum substrate warranty is a 20-year warranty, and that just varies by the manufacturer of the metal. Um, beyond that, you have your paint warranty. 
Um, you know, Sherwin Williams or Valspar, they offer us a 40 year finish warranty on all of our PVDF products. Beyond the finish warranty and beyond the uh, substrate warranty, we also offer weather tight warranties. The weather tight warranty is an option for predominantly commercial or multifamily on up type options. Uh, where we actually hold the warranty for the duration of time, covering against leaks, repairs, things like that. How about maintenance of a metal roof? What is that like? So maintenance of a metal roof is, is going to be similar to maintenance of any other roof. I mean, if you see debris up there, let's clean them off. Typical metal roof um, maintenance is generally going to be a little bit less than a shingle roof. Um, especially if you look at the longevity of the roof. You know, you're not having to worry about a shingle flying off here or there and a potential leak opportunity here or there. It's pretty specific to the flashing points. So you're going to want to make sure that, you know, if you've got sealant uh, in certain areas, you're going to want to make sure that it's not degrading over time due to UV exposure. If you've got pipe boots, which most every roof does, especially residential roofs, you're going to want to make sure that those are, you know, tightly sealed and things like that. These are all things that a typical roofing contractor can inspect for most homeowners, um, which we usually encourage homeowners to pass that on to a contractor to inspect or somebody that specializes in that. Right. And when it comes to metal roofing materials, um, steel, copper, zinc, what's how eco-friendly are these metal roofs? So metal roofs in general are all 100% recyclable. Um, now, that, that kind of has an asterisk with it because there are other products that go into the roof itself that may yeah. not be, whether it's um, an asphalt-based underlayment, you know, it's generally not recyclable. Occasionally there's rubber products and things like that that, you know, it, and butyl tapes and sealants that may not be recyclable. But if you're strictly talking the metal, um, you can typically get it recycled. I mean, you get great scrap rates for steel, aluminum, copper, zinc, maybe not great for steel, but a lot of these other natural earth products yep. uh, are considered quote unquote precious type metals. Um, and it's great that we can use them in architectural applications because when their useful life cycle ends, it can be recycled. So we talked about a ton of information today about uh, metal roofing. Um, check out online, we have an ebook called The Metal Roofing Buyer's Guide. Over a hundred pages worth of information. It's free, get it in the description. And what you can do is this Metal Roofing 101 series, you can literally follow along with the ebook as we're going through these videos, uh, learning about all these different topics. And everything we talk today will be in future episodes of Metal Roofing 101 and on the Metal Roofing channel. So be sure to subscribe to stay in the loop. Thanks so much, Adam, for, uh, for talking me through this. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, the next couple episodes. Comment with any questions. We're still doing Q&A Mondays, and uh, we'll catch you next time.